Patients with Parkinson's disease experience a decrease in the control of muscle movement. Let's see the neurological component of this disease and what we can do about it. The firing of a nerve is mediated through several receptors and neurotransmitters. This is the neurotransmitter dopamine. When dopamine binds to the receptor, it allows the signal to be relayed from the previous nerve to the next nerve. Patients with Parkinson's disease have a decreased amount of dopamine. With less dopamine available, the electrical signal doesn't transmit properly. This is acetylcholine. This is the muscarinic receptor. Acetylcholine is balanced with dopamine. When less dopamine is available, the amount of acetylcholine increases and binds to the muscarinic receptor. This causes the muscle to contract. With depleted dopamine and increased acetylcholine, muscles contract erratically. Muscarinic receptor antagonists will bind to the muscarinic receptor and block acetylcholine from binding to them. This causes a more stabilized balance between dopamine and acetylcholine. With less acetylcholine binding to the muscarinic receptor, the neurotransmitters are balanced. This allows the muscle contraction to normalize. <laughs>